Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. I am Nadine. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I tattoo my bunnies. I've got four that I need to tattoo today. They are of age to evaluate and sell um, and tattooing them allows me to easily identify them because they are all the same color and otherwise I wouldn't be able to tell who is who. So um, that is one of the main reasons why I tattoo. The second reason I tattoo is because I show my bunnies and in order to show your bunnies, you have to have a tattoo in the left ear. Um, this is again for identification purposes. This is also for awards, registrations, and for grand champion as well. So those are the two main reasons why I tattoo my bunnies for identification and for show. So I have, like I said, I've got four bunnies that I need to tattoo today. So I'm going to kind of walk you through my process of how I like to do it. Um, and hopefully it uh, helps you guys out in learning how to tattoo your own bunnies. So some things you're going to need are a tattoo pen. I got this. This is a TB Tat pen that I got from allthingsbunny.com. And it came with a full kit. It came with the needles, the numbing spray, the ink, the ink wells, the cleaning brushes, and extra needles all in the kit. Oh, as well as a, um, a pen for tattooing, but I don't use this. It's just to write their number down on their ear and then trace over it, but I don't bother. Um, and then a couple other things that I like to have on hand are a pen because I like to make notes on my bunnies as I tattoo, some Q-tips, a whole bag of cotton balls, some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, a small bowl to put the alcohol in, a bag for the dirty cotton balls, and then I like to use this Animal Sense ointment. I melted it down and put it in a chapstick. This is from uh, Young Living Essential Oils. Um, they have an Animal Sense oil line that's specifically for animals and they have an ointment that's great for um, wounds and things. So I melted some down and put it in a chapstick tube for easy application because I like to use this after tattooing to help my bunny's ears heal and to keep them clean. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, you need some sort of restraint. Some people like to use bunny wraps. Um, I was actually given these by the guy I got my bunnies from. He just made them out of old sweaters. He used like the sleeve um, and I just put them in here to help restrain them because they don't necessarily like it. Uh, with the numbing spray, they don't feel anything, um, but they still don't like being restrained and this makes a good bit of noise and it does vibrate. So there is a little bit of sensation going on in their ear. And then I like to keep notes of the litters that I am tattooing. I like to go back to my previous litter so I know what uh, tattoo they are getting, uh, whose litter they are from, their dam and sire, their date of birth, how many bucks and does I have, so on and so forth. Um, and then I like to make notes on their quality. I do a very quick, I do a very quick evaluation before I tattoo. Um, this gives me a basic idea of if they're show quality, if they have the uh, characteristics that they need for show, and of course, if they are male and female, if they've got good teeth, good toenails, all of that sort of thing. So I just do a general um, kind of overview of the animal itself um, before I tattoo, and then I do a more in-depth evaluation of my bunnies afterwards um, to see if they have the proper confirmation, um, so on and so forth. I will do a video for you guys on the American Blues, what to look for in a show quality bunny. Um, so you guys have a basic idea of what to look for if you do have this breed. I know there's very little information about these guys, so I'm trying to learn as much as I can and share it with you guys as I learn it. So I will be doing a video on evaluating your bunnies um, and that way you guys like I said, have some information and kind of a starting point as to what to look for in your American Blues and your litters. So when I first started tattooing my bunnies, I think one of the biggest questions I had was, what do I tattoo on my bunnies? Um, and honestly, it just boils down to personal preference. So I know a lot of people coordinate a number to a gender, a letter to a dam or a sire. 
um, or even their their rabbitry name. So it could be you know the name of your rabbit. It could be a combination of numbers and letters. It could be just numbers. It could be just letters. It's entirely up to you guys. So long as they have a clear identification mark in the left ear. So the reason why um, you only tattoo in the left ear is because if you go on to Grand Champion and register your bunny, I do believe they get a secondary registration number for Grand Champion in the right ear. Um, and so we need to leave the right ear clear and open for that possibility and only tattoo inside the left ear. So what I do as far as uh, tattooing, I do the initials of my rabbitry and the number of the rabbit that was born. Um, so say I had, in the very beginning of my rabbitry, we obviously had our first litter of rabbits and I started at one and I've just continued from there. So uh, my tattoo is RH, zero, and then whatever numbers. Um, right now I'm at RH045 and that would be that rabbit's identification number. RH stands for our homestead name, which is the reclaimed homestead. It's also the name of our rabbitry. And so it just makes sense to use those initials for my rabbits. Um, and so this was just a very easy format of tattooing for me. It was very straightforward our homestead initials and the number of the rabbit born on our homestead and just makes it really easy for me. Uh, that's about it as far as like information goes on what you're tattooing, where you need to tattoo it at and why. So next up is um, the process in which I tattoo my bunnies. I already have three up here right now. I keep them in a show cage that's uh, divided into three so that they're not fighting in this smaller cage. Um, and I just have them sitting here. I do have one more back in the rabbitry, but my cage only holds three bunnies. So um, I already have them up here. So what I like to do before I even sit down to tattoo is, like I said, I go through a basic um, evaluation of my bunny. I check their teeth, their ears, their toenails, their genitals. Um, and I kind of make note of that. And so I know if it's a buck or a doe and I can coordinate their tattoo with their basic information. Once I have that done, I go ahead and put them in the sock, which is what I call this thing. Which I showed you earlier. It's just the sleeve of a hoodie that was sewn together with a tie. Um, and I'll show you how I get them in here. Once they are in here, I use the numbing spray, which is called GG Anesthetic Numbing Spray. This was the numbing spray that came with the TB Tats um, tattoo pen. And so it's just what I've been using. I haven't experimented with any other numbing spray um, as of yet, and this works pretty good for me. So I will go ahead and spray the left ear with the numbing spray, and then I will set a timer on my phone for three minutes. Um, every once in a while, I'll get a really sensitive bunny who needs to go a little bit longer than that, in which case I will numb the ear again, wait another minute or two, and then proceed with tattooing because we don't want to cause them pain in this process. They can be a little bit uncomfortable because they don't like being restrained um, and the vibration in their ear can be a little annoying, but we don't actually want them to feel pain. So we do numb their ear before we tattoo. Now there is a secondary way in which you can tattoo. Um, I believe it's like a, a stamp tattoo um, where it kind of looks like a pair of pliers and you put in um, like your numbers and letters that are actually um, like, like needled out. So like you have your letter, like say you have a B or an R and the letter is actually like little, um, like little needles. I have one, I can show you guys. Um, I just don't have it out with me right now, but there is a secondary way if you don't want to use the pen. Um, I like using the pen because I could customize my tattoo. I believe the um, like the, the tattoo stamp, you can only do four characters at a time and that wasn't quite what I was looking for. So I decided to go with the pen instead because I can more customize 
my tattoo to my liking. Um, but this might be really uncomfortable for some people. So the stamp option is an option, um, in which case you would just put the rabbit's ear in the clamp, clamp it down, and then you would like smear the ink all over their ear, pushing it into um, the little dots or holes that the needles made. Um, but I just didn't, that didn't appeal to me. So I went with the tattoo pen. Um, so once the three minutes is up for the numbing on their ear, I go ahead and I start tattooing. I make sure that I have the right number with the corresponding rabbit. Um, like I said, I just go off of my previous litters and which number I left off at, and then I pick up from there and continue on. So let me go ahead and get our first rabbit out and we'll do a basic kind of once over on them. See their, make sure that their gender is correct. I did wean these guys at eight weeks old. They are well above and beyond eight weeks old. Um, so I do believe all the three that I have right now are bucks and the one that I have left in the rabbit tree is a doe, but I always like to double check before I tattoo and make sure that I was correct in my assumption um, because sometimes it can be difficult to tell. Um, so yeah, let me grab my first rabbit and we'll get this process underway. So we got this guy evaluated. He's got good eyes, teeth, all the proper colored toenails, and he is in fact a boy. So we're gonna go ahead and put him in the sock and then we will start the numbing process. Hold on, buddy. I know, I know. Stop. Stop. So I just put them in bottom first. So we roll up the sock, kind of like you would put a sock on your foot. I know, buddy. I know. I know. It's okay. Now that his bottom's in, I can kind of shimmy him in the pouch. Make sure his head is exposed. And then I cinch it. Oh, quit chewing on it, bud. Okay, so now he is nice and secure. There's no way he can run off on me. This is not too tight. I make sure there's there's plenty of room here for him to breathe. and swallow. We just don't want him getting his legs out so that he can fight me. And we just tie it. And now we got a little Benny Burrito. All right, so like I said, we want this in the left ear. So we're gonna be doing this ear. And we're going to, uh, I'm gonna clean it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then we're gonna numb it, so. Let's grab our alcohol, now that he can't knock it over. 
and I just swab the inside of the ear make sure it's nice and clean dry it All right, and then we want to give it a good coat of the numbing spray. I like to shake it good before I spray it. <clears throat> and something that I like to do, because I had a bunny get a pretty bad ear infection when I tattooed them either from the numbing spray or the rubbing alcohol getting down into their ear canal or whatnot, I take a little chunk of cotton ball and I kind of stuff it into their ear, ear canal. Can you guys see that? And that will prevent anything from rolling down in there um, and causing that infection. It could have just been a fluke and she had some bacteria or an ear infection already, but I just like to take that precaution with these guys um, because it's no fun having an ear infection. So I just open up the ear because we're going to be tattooing right here is where I like to put it. And we want to make sure that spot is nice and coated. So it's nice and shiny. And now we wait three minutes. So we've got three minutes on the timer and now we just wait. All right, so our three minutes is up. He should be good and numb. I like to check it. Oh, I know it feels weird. I know, I know. You're okay. Shh. I try to keep them as calm as I can. Oh, I know, bud, I know. It's in your ear, huh? I know. So I like to check and make sure that it's numb by just, I push my fingernail into the ear, make sure they can't feel it. And he's not flinching or pulling away from me. So he's good and numb. So let's go ahead and get started. So he is gonna be RH046. So I'm just going to, I'm gonna get my ink. This is the ink that came with the kit. So we're just gonna shake it up really good. And these are the ink wells. I'm going to go ahead and put some ink in one of these. This has like a twist top, so it's easy to use one handed. And we just drop it in there until it's full. This will stain your hands, so if you want to wear gloves during this, you can. I do not because I like to feel what I'm doing. Um, so now that we got everything set, we're going to take the cap off my pen here. The needle is very, very very slightly protruded. I think it's like the width of a coin is what they want. And when we turn it on, I may adjust this as I go to make that a little stick out just a little bit longer, um, which is easy to do. There's a the key at the back, you use the Allen wrench, you turn it a little bit and you can adjust this part back and forth to get the length of the needle that you like. So we just turn it a little bit. 
and then this piece slides back and forth so that you can adjust the length of your needle. I'm gonna make it just a little bit more. All right, I think that's gonna be good. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, so now, Oh, I know, buddy, I know. Oh, I'm gonna try to catch this on camera as best I can. I like to, <clears throat> um, I like to turn it on and kind of rub the outside of the machine just to get them used to the vibration of it. Just get them used to it, let them know that it's not gonna hurt him, that we're okay. Come on, buddy, yeah. It's not so bad. And when I think he's nice and calm, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So again, this guy is RH046. So I kind of, I don't know if we can get you guys closer. I kind of like to snug him in real close to my body. That way I can have like a good grip on them. And I kind of fold their ear over my finger to expose that inner part of the ear. Now this part just takes practice. I'm loading up my needle right now with some ink as far as um, getting your ink to stay. Might take a few times to get your ink and your needle good. Just go slow, take your time. Sometimes they flinch. The best thing you can do for them right now is be calm and they'll be calm. Once I get the initial outline done, I like to go over it with some alcohol, clean it up, and make sure that that ink is sticking. If it's not sticking, I will go ahead over it again. You're going to use a lot of cotton balls, so make sure you've got a new bag. Oh, I know, buddy. I know. You're doing so good. All right, so it's kind of sticking, but it's not sticking as nice as I would like it to. So we're gonna go over it again. Again, this is where your practice is gonna come in, where um, how hard you need to push, what it's gonna feel like um, to get your tattoo to stay.
River Pete. Usually the second round it sticks pretty good and I don't have to do it more than twice. I know, buddy, I know. All right, looks like I need to go over just a few little spots and then we'll be done. Alright, so as you can see, he's got a nice, bright, readable tattoo now. I will take my Animal Sense ointment and rub it all over that to make sure it feels good. Now we'll take the cotton out of his ear. You did so good! Yeah. And we'll get him out of the pouch and back into the cage. Buddy. You did so good. So I'm just going to continue this with the next three bunnies. It's the same process for every single one. I do a basic evaluation, clip toenails if they need clipped, um, make any notes in my notebook as far as discolored toenails, poor teeth, ears, anything that I notice that could be a potential problem. I make a note of that whether or not they're potentially show quality or if they're meat quality. Um, and then I go through the whole tattooing process. I clean the ear, I numb the ear, I tattoo the ear, I clean it again and I put ointment on it and then they go away and they're perfectly fine after that. Um, you will notice for the next day or two that their ear will be a little droopy. Um, this is either, um, because it's still numb or it's just healing from the tattoo itself. Um, it's good to keep an eye on it over the next couple days, make sure it doesn't get infected. And if so, to take the proper precautions necessary to remedy the infection. I have never had a tattoo become infected um, because I do take all of these precautions to make sure that the ear is clean and that it is well protected and cared for afterwards. So these guys are usually pretty good after a tattoo. Like I said, I did have that one instance where I had an actual ear infection after a tattoo, in which case um, I started putting a little bit of cotton ball down into the ear canal to prevent any alcohol from getting down in there, um, any ink from get, 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 getting down, ugh, any ink from getting down in there, um, or any of the numbing spray, and that seems to be working very well for me. So if you guys have any questions about how to tattoo a bunny, why you're tattooing them, um, or if you just have any questions about this whole process in general, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I love answering your questions. I love helping you guys out. And I want to make sure that you guys have a really good experience tattooing your bunnies as well. So if you like this video, if you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that uh, like button on your way out. If you are not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out and it supports me as a YouTuber and I so appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to grow where you're planted.